Hey everyone, welcome to my review of the Cloud 20 Degree Sleeping Bag made by Sierra Designs. For those who are new to the channel, Hiking Nerd is about thoroughly field testing gear and sharing ideas to inspire your next adventure. We get pretty in depth here, so if that's what you're looking for, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get into this review now. The Sierra Designs Cloud 800 20 Degree Sleeping Bag is a zipperless, mummy style down sleeping bag that could be the sweet spot for sleeping bag and quilt users alike. It's a 29 ounce or 820 gram sleeping bag made of a 15D nylon ripstop fabric and filled with 15 ounces of 800 fill power hydrophobic down. The cloud is EN rated to a lower limit of 15 degrees Fahrenheit or minus nine degrees Celsius and a comfort limit of 26 degrees Fahrenheit or minus three degrees Celsius. Real-world usage will most likely deviate from these lab-tested figures, given all the extra variables that come into play, not the least of which is each person's deviation from the thermal comfort models applied. The baffled cloud sleeping bag features a comforter that you tuck under your shoulder, a self-sealing foot vent, a cinchable hood, and a sleeping pad sleeve. Note that the regular-sized bag will accommodate a 20-inch wide pad, while the large will accommodate a 25 inch wide pad. Okay, let's talk pros and cons now. You'll note that some features can either be a pro or a con depending on your preferences. All right, we'll start with the pros. My favorite feature of this sleeping bag is the simplistic design. Compared to a traditional sleeping bag, the cloud doesn't have any zippers that can snag or break. And compared to a quilt, there aren't any buckles to snap nor foot boxes to cinch and uncinch. I also think the vented foot box is brilliant. It's super easy to use, works very effectively, and doesn't get drafty. It's less fussy and a lot quicker to use than any other foot box on the market. I also love the pad sleeve. It's a total game changer for me since I toss and turn a lot at night and I like that the sleeping bag stays anchored no matter what I do. The pad sleeve is especially helpful when I'm camped on an incline since it keeps the sleeping bag firmly attached to the pad. If you're someone who wants the back of the sleeping bag to roll with you, then this is not going to do that. But as a quilt user, I like that I can turn side to side in the Cloud 20 without worrying about any drafts coming through my backside. The hood is generously sized, and this can be a good or a bad thing. For me, it works because I can slide a pillow in there and the hood will come down just over my eyes so I can sleep in total darkness. If you don't use a pillow, this hood will be floppy and oversized. Either way, you'll want to cinch the hood closed if you start pushing the temperature rating on this bag. And finally, I like the spacious cut in the torso, and this also happens to be a double-edged sword. The extra space allows you to wear additional clothing inside the bag, which I especially like. However, if you can't fill up all the space, then the bag becomes more susceptible to drafts. So unfortunately, nothing is perfect, and there are some cons with this bag. The first is that many people have said the bag is not quite as warm as its EN rating would suggest. Anecdotally, I found this bag to be close to its EN rating, though I've noticed that small details like cinching up the hood properly will really make a difference. You'll see in this shot that there's an exposed channel running down the left side of the bag from the torso through the hood. When you really snuggle in the comforter, you might open up this channel, which allows cold air to seep in through your hood. Cinching up the hood then becomes critical. It helps if you can fill out this space by wearing more jackets or clothing. I would also prefer a bit more down in the middle of the comforter. It feels a little bit thin there. Another con is that the cloud only comes in one orientation, which is left facing. Side sleepers will need to turn to their left for best cold weather performance. If you turn to the right, it's hard to properly tuck the comforter under your shoulder. Also, because the sleeping bag doesn't turn with you, you might want to tuck part of the hood under your face so you can breathe freely. And finally, I think weight is always a con. Now, granted, for a sleeping bag, this is actually quite light without using ultra-thin fabrics. Eliminating the down along the back where it could be compressed against the pad is an easy and cheap way to save weight. Although this bag weighs 6 ounces more than my 10 degree Fahrenheit quilt, which is also actually a little bit warmer than the Cloud 20, the weight difference is not as pronounced when you consider that I would need head insulation and pad straps with my quilt to achieve a similar outcome. Ultimately though, there is a slight weight penalty in exchange for a simpler and less drafty system. 
For over a year now, I've been using the Cloud 20 for mountaineering objectives like spring and summer ascents of Mount Rainier and Mount Shasta, as well as for colder backpacking trips like my early season section hike of the John Muir Trail and late season hike of the Yosemite High Route. I've slept comfortably in temperatures ranging from about 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 9 degrees Celsius, but this does include me wearing additional clothing as needed. I tend to prefer the sleeping bag to my quilt for nighttime temperatures between 20 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit or about minus 7 to plus 4 degrees Celsius, where I really can benefit from being anchored on my pad so I can toss and turn freely without drafts. Now, this might be an unpopular opinion, as most sleeping bag users who switch to quilts will stick with their quilts, but I've actually been getting better sleep with the Sierra Designs Cloud 20 than I would in similar conditions with my quilt. So is this the right sleeping bag for you? Well, if you're unsatisfied with traditional sleeping bags, but you have some concerns about quilts and how good of a night's sleep you'll get with them, then you should consider trying out this bag by Sierra Designs. It's great for three season use given its versatility, but this versatility does mean that it doesn't do quite as well on colder winter nights. Was this review helpful? Let me know by hitting the like button or leaving a comment down below. For more gear reviews and adventures, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next time.